gonna be another hot one out there, folks, with a high of 92 degrees. Whoa, get your sunscreen on. Dan, doctors at St. John's Medical Center just informed me that there's been a rapid decline in pneumonia and respiratory infections this season. After the initial vaccine campaign that ended last month, people are reporting a return of flu-like symptoms. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention is baffled at how, in just three days, this new strain has spread so quickly. It's too early to tell. We don't know if the C100 virus is to blame or if it's something new. quiet at this time for your safety. Continue to carry out the following instructions. Due to the flood of people reporting to emergency rooms across the country, the military was forced to set up field hospitals. But still the question remains as to whether the virus... Wait, come on. Dr. Campbell, wait! Wait, Dr. Campbell, wait. Please, hey, not here. No. Wanting to back off. No, wait. as one of the top infectious disease specialists in the country, we need some answers. Please, is the virus airborne? Is it in our water? Unfortunately, I don't have any answers for you right now, except that the CDC and every other branch of the World Health Organization has this as their top priority. And I can assure you with 100% certainty that we are very close to figuring out what our nation is facing. But we're not there yet. Therefore, it, it's essential that we treat this like any other pandemic. So we need to stay calm. Do not go outside unless it's an emergency. Okay. Are you That's kidding no. me? Wait. <laughs> stay calm. That's all you have to offer our viewers? Jesse, if you hear this, please just get somewhere safe until we get this figured out, all right? Let's go no, no, please. You need, to, you need to listen to me. Just do not go outside. Greatness lies in those who believe, so That's you need to believe doctor. your mom. Just, I, I promise you, it's all going to be all right. I'm here for you. That's too much. Always. Doctor, please, one more question. No. Is the virus airborne? I have please. nothing else to say. Our lives are at stake. Please. please. <laughs> That's it for me. I'm crashing. What? No, you are not going to bed right now. Come to the woods, you said. We off the grid, having a great time. I'm seriously jonesing for my phone right now. Uh, we are having a great time, are we? Oh yeah. It's upon us. Hmm. She's better. She's alive. You can just hold me like this forever. Mm-hmm.
Hospital, and we're gonna get you some help. <laughs> we're gonna be okay. Oh, don't, 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 My, uh, my dad. No. No. Hell no. You're not dying. You're gonna be okay. Uh, because if, if I was dying, I, I would tell, I would tell you that I slept with your boy. <laughs> You're delirious. I'm serious. <laughs> you need to save yeah. your energy. I didn't. It was in your bag. <laughs> Stop it. I I'm know sorry. I just wanted you to know. I... <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. I was, I'm a, it's my whole hose before. I probably was right. Be back.
You have three new messages. John, pick up. Where are you? I've been here all night. They won't let me leave. They're saying something about quarantine. Call me as soon as you get this. I love you. Next message. John, if you're there, pick up. Okay. I have to work late. Most of the second shift never showed up, and we have dozens of patients still waiting to be admitted. This is unbelievable. Something's going around, I guess. Sorry, honey. But I'll be home as soon as possible. I love you. Give Rachel a kiss from me. Next message. Something's really wrong. Get what? Rachel away from there. Take her to my mom's, and I'll go meet you. You have no new messages. Hello?
been in there all night. He wouldn't leave. Who are you? I'm Emma. That was my brother-in-law. I've been searching for my sister and my niece. This is their house. Who are you? Jesse. It's just, I, I know everybody in town and you're... I'm going home. I need a car. Are they sending help? Who? They? The government? I don't know, FEMA? The National Guard? They always send the National Guard. I... I don't know. You're the first person I've seen since... So it's everywhere? Outside town. Everywhere I've been. Jesus. Come with me. We'll go back to the diner. There's a group of us there waiting out this new flu thing. Strength in numbers, you know? Except you're gonna need a shower. You're covered in blood. Are you all right? I was just washing my face. Show me the wound. What? How'd you get that? I was in an accident. Bullshit, there are teeth marks. When'd you get it? Yesterday. But don't lie to me. I swear to God. Then why have you turned? I don't know. Show me your gums. It starts with a fever, then your gums bleed. Let me see. Your eyes don't look like theirs either. So why aren't you sick like them? I don't know. My mom always said I had champion genes. Did you get the shot? No. I didn't either. Neither did anybody get the diner. But you've been bitten, so why aren't you sick? I don't know. My mom, she's a scientist, and when I was little, she was always giving me shots. Maybe that had something to do with it. I, I really don't know. Okay, well, if you're bitten and you're not sick, then someone needs to know about this. I may be able to get you to your mom. There's a car out behind the diner. It belonged to the owner's cook, but he's one of them now, so he won't be using it. I'll take you with me on one condition. You don't tell everybody that you've been bitten. They'll flip their shit if they know. Okay. in the diner every Monday morning by clockwork. Mm -hmm. Now those things are an attack and they all piled into the diner to try to weigh out the worst of it. By the next morning, they're all like people left in town. How long ago was that? A week? Ten days at most? A week? Yeah. Didn't take long. There's a back entry in this alley. Where'd he go?
the Norwegian jacket. Alcohol? Yes, I know. We're gonna make a dash for the door. Got it? She saved my life. She's cool. Cool? Miss Thang almost let those monsters inside here. That is most definitely not cool. I'm a new rule. No one enters or exits unless Roy says so, capiche? Try to ignore him. It's easy for you to say. Ignore him? My place, my party. You don't like it? Find another carnival. I don't plan on staying long. Searcher for weapons. I want everyone in the main room, now. Everybody, Jesse, Jesse, everybody. Great, another mouth to feed. Okay, Roy. Look at that bitch who sunk her teeth into our dog. Or'd you forget about that already, honey pie? You show one sign of the sickness, and I will end your day. Do you hear? Don't be so overdramatic, honey. She's fine, Roy. Shut your cake hole, Emma. This is Roy's island. Roy makes the rules, and the only rule is do whatever the hell I say. Chill, Mr. Tummer. You're scaring Grace. Look, she's made it this far. That's saying something. Roy didn't have to let a single one of you freeloaders stay here. Remember that. Does he find himself in third person? Yeah, he does that a lot. Man, one more ain't gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt when you're running out of Roy's food and H2O. I I'll give her some of my saltine. Sucker for in every goddamn thing. I'm gonna go and recheck the stock. If I can find one can out of place, throwing the two of you to the wall. No, my chin. This whole thing has got him testier than usual. Hope he didn't scare you. I'm Martha. I'm this is my husband, Fred. Everybody calls me Fred. Hey. Jesse doesn't scare easily. Well, you lived this long. You've seen just about everything, but these doing snow out there. Well, that's a new one on me in red. You, uh, make this ride without a fella out there? Yeah. Impressivo. He doesn't mean any disrespect. He's. Old fashioned. Sure. Set in his ways. It's okay. I can see you got yourself some help too. So, uh, you guys have just been cooped up in here? Just waiting? What do you want us to do? I mean, at least nobody's looking for us in this shithole. 
Well, Fred and I are too old to go anywhere anyway. Jesse and I are gonna get some help. Well, uh, it's too dangerous to go anywhere. I gotta get it home. You got somebody mm. waiting for you? Hope so. Mom. Yeah, good luck going in alone. I mean, you go out there, get ourselves killed. Hey, I'd rather starve to death in here than get my juggler chumped out there. Sorry, kid. Me a copa? So what do you say, Grace? Thank you. We did? So you must be Mark's sister. Oh, that's really brave. He always takes care of me. My mom is the same. Does anyone know the quickest way to get to Atlanta from here? Take the highway west. 190 miles or so gets you into the center. So where are your parents? We don't know. I found them in a skate park a few days ago. We were resting. We're not from around here. My uncle is some survivalist nut job. At least I, I thought he was a nut job until all this started happening. Last time I saw him, I was around eight or nine. Grace has never met him. He has a farm just outside of Rose City. We were headed there when we got holed up here. All right, Miss Thank. Let me lay down the rules for you. One, I decide when you're thirsty. Two, I decide when you're hungry. Capiche? Oh, you don't want to make friends? It's a cold, hard world out there. Pays to make friends. See, old Red here didn't think I noticed he swiped that extra bottle of water last night. Did you, Red? You can't even kiss it out, old man. So why bother? You're evil. You know, you talk too much. And your mouth just as big as your belly. Full of shit. I've been more than fair. Or he's just looking out for everyone. He's protecting us. See? Sweet piece of pussy shows up. Suddenly we got a mutiny. Y'all had best settle down. If you want to keep enjoying Roy's hospitality. I'd rather die than take anything from him again. Are we on? Are we live? live. Okay, good. Uh, listen, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to broadcast. This may be our last report. We have just received word that the sickness that has spread is a direct result of the C100 flu vaccine. This is apparently some sort of mutation of a dead virus that has been used to inoculate millions of people with horrific results. The gestation period from Post-inoculation to when symptoms present is anywhere from one week to less than 24 hours. If you received the vaccine, you have the virus. This bears repeating. If you got a flu what shot, what bears repeating you are is this. Infected. The government is always fucking things up. They keep trying to do the same thing, but in different ways. Hey, don't mess with what ain't yours. your shit for brains. Man, the only thing I want attacking my brains is this. You ask me, I've seen it coming, man. I mean, tsunamis, earthquakes all over the world, famine, drought. Surprised it didn't happen sooner. I never thought I'd see the end of the world. Wasn't the world that's been falling apart. We've been falling apart on the inside. I don't talk that way. I'm sure the president is doing something. 
unless the Bible's got him too. What are you looking at? Insulin. Roy's got his eyes. Shut up, Lucy. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, prick it, mark it with the B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. You know what that means? No. To, to pat it, prick it, and mark it with a B? So in the olden days, the baker would bake all of the bread for all the people in the town. And he would mark the top of the bread with a toothpick with the first letter of the last name of the family so they knew it was theirs when they came to pick it up. The bakery was like a communal oven. What's a communal? Communal means... Well, it's kind of like what we're doing here in the diner, right? We're all living together, taking care of each other the best we can, right? Mm -hmm. You okay? Yes, makes me miss my mom. Yeah? Tell me about her. She's smart and successful. She uh, has a career working for a pharmaceutical company. She's pretty much the opposite of me. Now you sell yourself short. Maybe she has some kind of idea of what's going on. I don't know. Just want to get back to her. I need the keys to the car. I think Roy has them. What was that? Oh, don't worry about it. We gotta go back and check the generator. I think he must have bumped into it again. No, in the morning, honey, do it then. We gotta keep this place cool for the meat in the back and for my insulin. I'm good for TV. If the news comes back on, anyone steals from me while I'm gone, and I swear to God, that includes you, denture dick. Come on, kid, you gotta watch my ass. You too, Brandon. I'll go. What? I said I'll go. Should stay with his sister. All right. Kid, you go babysit. Miss Thang is going with Daddy Bear. She'll be back. Don't worry. Well, the Roy scared him off. Shut up. Come on. The one time they took out the trash. You know, Miss Thang, I like your spunk. I don't even know why I bother with everyone else. It's like they think I owe them something. As far as I'm concerned, Emma doesn't even work for me anymore. And I don't believe that the customer is always right applies neither. At least not in a situation like this. And that old fuck, he can roll over dead too, as far as I'm concerned. Come on, man. Hey, would you just hurry up and fix that back there so we get back inside? You even know what you're doing, man? I installed this generator myself, you whiny ass bitch. Yeah, whatever. I appreciate you taking me in, Roy. That's all I ask for. A little bit of respect. And maybe a wee bit of thanks. Oh, shit. No contact with the customers, bitch. Dead. Damn it, Fred. Ah! 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 
Come on! Take us with you. What? No, I can't. My uncle's place is just along the way of wherever you're going. Roy wasn't right about a lot of things. But he was right about us sticking together. And stick together here. You're safer here than on the road. Hey, I, I want to go too. I mean, if this thing hasn't gotten a hold of you yet, maybe you're just a thing to stop it. Roy was lucky to have you. Yo, we're bugging out. If any of you want to join us. Take some supplies, too. We won't need them. It's not much room, but if you want to come with us. It don't seem worth it without Roy. <laughs> you go on. Save the world. There's a world left to save. Get why you can. We're, uh, we're gonna, gonna see it right to you with your, uh, Lucy here. Mm. Martha woke up feeling sick. Jerky didn't sit well. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Red. Martha, mm. you feel better, okay? Mm -hmm. I may have learned on a flintlock, but I'll manage. Atlanta sounds fine to me. Maybe catch some grits and greens there, so you? Nope. Everyone I know is dead or infected, so. Everybody keeps saying infected. I mean, that's just how it starts. I mean, you get bit, you die, and you bite. Period. Unless you're Jesse the Wonder Girl. <laughs> hey, other than that, you gotta bash some brains, man. Ain't that right, Marky Mark? You, my man, are a bona fide thumper. Man, hey, I saw what you did to them zombies to get in that diner. <laughs> if you die after you get bit, your soul is taken, right? The body is just a shell. No. Your body becomes a virus spreading machine. Your soul has nothing to do with it. What kind of God who creates souls would let something terrible like this happen anyway? Maybe we just need to piss him off. I don't believe in God. I believe in scientists. Scientists that go messing when they ain't got no business messing. If you have God, you have everything. Without God, 
We have nothing. Yeah. Well, what do we got now, Mark? Everything's gone, bro. I have everything. So you don't have anywhere to be? No family? None that claim me. I'm a bastard's kid. My dad left my mom before I even knew him. You know, so she, she's so upset. She don't even like to look at me. Cause I'm the bastard's bastard. Sorry. Well, no need to be. Hey, that's the way the cards were dealt. What you gonna do? I'm gonna take 285 just a little bit. Got it. Hey, Mark, man. We don't need to make a supply run, bro. More like a bourbon, man. That's Megan. Who? My sister. Megan? Megan, what happened to you? Answer me. We almost made it out. You're scaring me. What does that mean? Megan? What does that mean? John, don't cry, John. There was nothing I could do. Megan. Kids, I'd want them to be just like the two of you. Emma, come on, get in the car. Emma, wait, I'm Emma. Emma. Emma, come on, Emma, come on, get in the Oh, my God. 
What are you doing? Sorry. I know you believe in that kind of shit, but... Maybe Brandon's right. Sarah, to Emma, to Brandon, to anyone. I didn't say it made sense. It doesn't. Emma and Brandon were my friends, too. All I know is everything happens for a reason. I turn to speak to God about the world. What, what is that? Something that my mom used to say when my dad died. Maybe she was right. I'm sorry, Grace. My uncle's place should be just up this road. Grace, come on. Come on, come on. This way. Come on. Grace, gotta walk fast, okay? This is far enough. You can, you can go. Leaving her. You don't have to do this. Enough people have died on my watch. I'm coming with. Hey. Hey, your brother is super resourceful. Yes, he is. We'll figure out a way to return to you. He's not going to leave you, I promise. I'm, I'm scared. What? Me too. <laughs> You're warm. I've been 
rationing gas for the generator, but they're still tasty. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, ben. Ben Clayton. I'm Jesse. And you may know who this is. Grace, Mark is her older brother. Of course, yeah. It's your uncle. Uncle Ben. I think you need to get some sleep, huh? May I? Of course. Me, Casa. Yes, you're Cassie. <laughs> I got some canned tuna in the kitchen if you're hungry. Uh, some peanut butter, too. Canned tuna and peanut butter. Well, beggars can't be choosers. So you live here alone? <laughs> I do now. I lost all of them. We can hide out in my house. I, I got food and water for weeks. Now you're welcome to stay, both of you. As long as you want. Someone's at the truck again. Grace plan to stay. Of course. Family's family. Thank you for taking us in. Mark says you're a prepper. Does he now? <laughs> Will I admit it? I secretly hope to see it. Y you were hoping for this? You wanted it. We had it coming. The baby killers, trans whatchamacallits, everything. Couldn't have dreamed this up exactly, but <laughs> the Lord does work in mysterious ways. Well, I could use a little less mystery in my life. They'll keep coming and coming. More and more of them every day. It's only a matter of time. She's worried about her brother is all. These are hard times for little things. Jesse, the world's been falling apart around us. We knew too much for our own good. Here we are, paying the consequences. Ready? For what? The blessing. 
Hold these. Hand them to me one at a time. This goes right about there. Stay in the camper outside the barn. I helped him with most of his projects. One of those demons out there bit him. Pick it up. Pick it up. He minds. I took his place. And, and you know, it is so nice having somebody around again. Jesse, you arrived just in time to see Ben's vision through. Ben and I, years to prepare. Heck no, decades. Listen. Promise to look after Grace. I, I, I know it's a little difficult under the circumstances, but try to make the world a better place for her. Please. I know you can do it. You know it's possible. I love you. Love you too. Please don't leave me. Mark, no! Mark! Mark! I'm 30. 
thirsty. I'll find us some water. Do people get thirsty in heaven? No. Is there soda pop in heaven? All that you want. No belly aches. Will Mark go to heaven? I believe so. Will the monsters be in heaven? No. Only good people like Mark. Jesse? Jesus, will you shut up? I don't know, okay? I don't know everything. Those monsters are in there! Get behind me! Go! like one of our trolls. Hope none of those people are our subscribers. What are you young ladies doing way out here? We made a mess there. But they'll make, uh, they'll make nice yard ornaments. Name Shaycock 45. I'm Jesse, this is Grace. Hi. Sounds kind of strange, huh? It's my YouTube name. You've seen my videos, right? No. No. Didn't think so. Didn't think so. <laughs> well, that was another world, another time. Why don't y'all follow me? Comes right down to it. All a man needs is a good cigar, a cup of coffee, and an arsenal. An arsenal of weapons is good. How many you got? Jesse, I think you'll really like this 1911. That's a sweet, sweet trigger. You want to try that one? Yeah. Right on that target out there. Yeah. Okay, not bad. I think it'd, it'd help you if you get this left hand up on there, kind of a more comfortable grip instead of on the bottom of it. Okay. Just bring it up. Yeah, okay. I like that. A little more support. Okay, try it. Take your time. Good job. It's a little big, isn't it? But it yeah. shoots nicely, yeah. Kind of good. Let me show you this other one. I think uh, that you'll really like the grip of a little better, unless I'm mistaken, because this one, this one will fit your hand, I think, a little bit better. Try that. Just, just yeah. get a feel of it. It's good. Does that feel good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's not. I thought you'd like that. Well, I want to give you this, okay? Take it with you. And I'm going to, I've got shotgun shells in this bag, and this pistol. Once you take that, and then this shotgun is fully loaded. All right? So hopefully that'll get you through. Thank you so much. What was that? That would be my nephew. What are you two up to? Is that booty trap? I think you mean booby traps. That's what I said, booty trap. Very funny. This is Jessie. She's a good egg. She's been looking after a little one since Middle Creek City. Boy or girl? Girl. Name's Grace. Where's she at? She's catching some Z's up on the porch. They need some wheels. You don't have any extra wheels, do you? It's a bit much of a truck for her, don't you think? She's made it this far. She can handle this. You'll be fine. It'll get you from point A to point B. I should go and grab Grace. She's got it. What? No. Well, I... She didn't get bit. I... I don't understand. She's 
tiny now that's taken hold. It won't take long for it to take her. You ever got it? No. No. There's no choice. You want to turn to one of those things? I'll do it. Just get to where you're going. She's my responsibility. I promise her brother I will look after. You live? You live. I still answer. <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Shoot stuff, blow stuff up? Shoot some guns. How many do you think we got? Probably like 30, 35. How many do you think you'll get? 30, 35. I don't have a shotgun. Oh, we're doing pistols, huh? Yes. All right. We are. All right, we're gonna do three of the status. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Stand by. Nope. <laughs>
shoot. Who the hell are you? Why are you here? I'm looking for Dr. Campbell. Dr. Judith Campbell. Wait a minute. I recognize you. Jesse. If you are watching this, you already know how bad things have become. Everyone here has either run away or been infected, except myself and the security guard. But sweetheart, I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> I've never been as strong as you. You have never been sick a day in your life, despite being exposed to many different viruses. We thought it would work. We had no idea the virus would spiral out of control. People need to know about this. There's another lab in Washington, D.C. My truck's done for. I don't suppose you have an armored tank around here, do you? Got something better. <laughs> they annoy the fuck out of me. In 2021, doctors discovered Jesse's blood produced a rare antibody, which scientists inserted into the C0321, a secret government weapon initially used to manipulate enemy weather patterns. What was developed as a destructive agent turned out to be the perfect method to distribute the vaccine worldwide. Never lose hope. <laughs> 